Greetings, Sentinels fans. Recently, Sentinels of Earth Prime has come out on digital. And since it's come out on digital, I've had a chance to play it. And since I've had a chance to play it, I will give my thoughts on it. Let's do this. Sentinels of Earth Prime fits into a weird spot when considering how official it is. This is not a Greater Than Games product, as it was made by Green Ronin. It does not take place in the Sentinels of the Multiverse universe. Now there's a sentence. Instead, occupying the same universe as that of the Minions and Masterminds RPG. However, it was designed to be compatible with Sentinels of the Multiverse Enhanced Edition. And as such, you can treat it as another expansion for EE. And the digital game does. If you own both of them, you can use content from both in the same game. What even further muddles the semi-official nature of this product is that Christopher Bedell, one of the primary creatives behind Sentinels, did have a primary role in designing Earth Prime. So, a major member of Greater Than Games did help make this. You see why this is a weird spot? I can't call it official because it's not in the same IP, nor is it by the same company, but Greater Than Games did help make it. It should also be noted that Earth Prime was made before Definitive Edition. Kinda. The timeline is a bit screwy there. The point being that it was not designed to be compatible with Definitive Edition. You will not see all the fancy keywords, nor will the start or end of phase effects be clearly labeled, like they are on the Definitive cards. Also, while it is compatible with Enhanced Edition, it's not balanced around Enhanced Edition. You will notice pretty quickly that power levels and pacing are a fair amount higher. You will see a lot of card draw, card plays, and strong effects. You won't see quite as much in the way of messing with the villain, but there are still options in that regard. Someone in the Sentinels Discord puts it pretty succinctly. Earth Prime is a bit of a halfway point between Enhanced Edition and Definitive Edition, but is otherwise balanced around itself. I don't remember who said it. If you want to take credit for it, there's a comment section. Next, since this is a different intellectual property, Earth Prime will inevitably have characters with the same power set as in Sentinels. Raven and Wraith, as well as Johnny Rock and Attackion being the obvious examples. However, since Greater Than Games staff were in on the project, they of course wanted to make these somewhat similar characters play differently. And this does come through. Raven is very different from Wraith. Johnny Rocket is quite different from Tachyon. Siren is very different from Tempest. It's like what I said in my custom content video. It's not what the power is that is important. It's how they use them. What is their operating procedure? As for what's in the box, well, you get 10 heroes, 4 villains, and 4 environments, just like the core game of Sentinels Enhanced Edition. All 10 heroes are very fun in their own way. I'd like to shout out Daedalus in particular as a fun concept. All the villains are enjoyable in their own ways, though I will say I think they skew towards a bit easier. It might just be because I'm very experienced with the game at this point, but I've not really had much trouble with the villains except for maybe Omega. And all four of the environments are a lot of fun, which is a step up from the core game of Enhanced Edition Sentinels, of which I only liked two of them. There is also other content like Lantern Jack, but I don't have access to those yet. Now, if you are like me, and you like the lore of Sentinels, but are not interested in the minions and masterminds, then you won't have a lot of value there. But, I'm sure fans of that RPG will get a kick out of this. Although, side note, you will find that the flavor text of these cards to not be particularly imaginative. But, if you are looking to add more gameplay goodness, this is a good place to find it. But, as I near the end of this video, I should bring up something else. Now, this is entirely speculation. Do not take my word as gospel here. But I'm not certain if Sentinels of Earth Prime is going to continue from here. There were a lot of complications that happened during the production of the game. I don't know the details, but I do know that it took way longer to hit shells than intended. It seems that Green Ronin, used to making RBGs, which generally only come out in the form of books, were not prepared for the particular production pitfalls associated with a card game like this. Especially since the Sentinel-style card game is already pretty ambitious. So it does make me wonder if they think it'd still be profitable to make more, or if it's too much trouble to continue building expansions. I hope they make more. More content for Sentinels is always good, but I'm not holding my breath. But yeah, that Sentinels of Earth Prime is an excellent continuation of Enhanced Edition, as well as a really fun game on its own. And I hope you enjoy it! See you next time everyone! Take care, friends!